I'm gonna be fine. Espinas. This is one of the first since I never played Frontier, so it's gonna be a whole new experience. I do know from what I've seen from like old Frontier content well he is like the flagship of 2.0 I think and he has fucking triple or double status and then blight fireballs so basically triple status fireballs cause he fucking fire blights you then he paralyzes you and then poisons you just like that the new insect wave moves are weird I think it's gonna take a while to get used to but I think I'll end up liking them a bit more but right now it's not how I dislike them they just feel weird and I forgot to fucking eat oh my god just like that I'm fucking paralyzed and burnt jeez the, par the paralysis doesn't last that long but like if you're burnt and you get poisoned as well well it's not gonna need to last long to, to be melt your health god damn Espinas is also a lot bigger than I thought. This thing's fucking huge. It's massive. Alright, let's ride this bitch. Wait, Astalos is here. Everyone's here. There we go. I can't even see what the fuck is going on. Oh, the other, the other tree and the... And the weapon tree. And the smithy is probably Espinas. His weapons are probably fire only then. I dislike the fact that dual blades are the only weapons that get the opportunity to have multiple properties. I understand that like two weapons, but like, come on, Capcom. It would have been nice to have like Garam Gorm have dual element weapons. Kintex Spike Up was a lot weaker than I thought it would be, but I don't know. It's, 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 it's still okay. It just gives people another aerial combo finish other than Diving Wyvern because not everyone is going to like Diving Wyvern or want to use it. Which is fair, I'm not a huge fan of Diving Wyvern either. Gormagala, nice. Gormagala, Tigrex, Pyrak, Nikidaki, and then two of the three lords. I love the little flash intro thing. ほどらんるのだ。ルモラータ。Ouch. Well, I guess getting Gora out of here is like, well, spoiler alert if you didn't know, but Gora has like a, a special state he goes into. But I guess like getting him out of the state is going to be easier in this game due to the being a lot more verticality. A lot of people struggle to knock him out of the state because I'm pretty sure you have to beat the crap out of his feelers that come up when he's in that state. But I guess now because of the wire bug and everything, you don't really. What's it called? You don't really, um need to knock him down or anything you can just get up in the air and just start walk 
I see him on his head. I wonder if Chaotic will Magala's in the game. Because I really liked his weapon gimmick. Well, I guess there's no way to inflict yourself with Frenzy like in Generations Ultimate there was with um, Frenzy Fever. So his weapons would be somewhat situational to Shagaru and Gore if he was in the game. I just noticed how much chip damage I was taking. Holy fuck. Well, if you don't know what the Frenzy Virus does, it basically... It turns monsters fucking mental. And, well, it gives them a boost in their strength as well and aggression, but some monsters can actually overcome the frenzy and become even stronger, like fucking the infamous Apex or Jang who just lifts up like 40% of the zone and launches it at you. I've heard Furious for Jang does that in this game, so that would be nice to see. Let's. Use the fell line. This is the state I was talking about before. It's like enraged frenzied state. The one thing I do like is that um, he's also still classified as he's also still classified as like question mark question mark question mark, which is a nice touch. I'm glad they didn't um, give him like the elder dragon classification or flying wyvern or some boring shit like that. I'm glad they kept. Question mark, question mark, question mark. It's nice. I didn't need to climb up the wall, no, fuck, I'm probably dead. Get the fuck out of it. So far he's nice, yeah, it's a nice fight. My fucking neck hurts. 